Hey kids, it's Joe Pickup from SoMuchMonsters.com. I'm here to give you another little Skyrim crash course prior to the creation kit release. Today we're going to try and get in a, a new helmet. In this case, I've taken an iron helmet and just mucked it about, about a bit. But you'll note it has no skin. It's all basically a raw file for us to work with. So whatever helmet you're working with, uh, you should be able to follow through with this stuff. Uh, this is going to be the precursor to a slightly more complex video on getting a, a proper armor in with the weight slider working correctly so your armor doesn't disappear or blow up when you uh, when you actually export it. For now we'll just focus on getting a model into the engine with the skin modifier on it through NIFScope and our NIF tools. So our first step here, I have my model already dumped into my max file. Um, I know that this is actually going to match up with the original helmet since I started off of it. But if you start, just make sure you kind of have the head in in, uh, in mind when you start building. Uh, I'm going to first import the original iron helmet, which will be helmet.nif. Um, you'll see on the other the other models, you'll see like the Curious Heavy O1 or Zero and Curious Heavy One, those are the smallest and largest the body will be. Um, that's co sort of the way that they deal with their morph targets essentially. So Zero will be the skinny guy, One will be the heavy guy, and the way you play with the sliders in your character creation will affect where it's going to be. Um, we'll cover that in a later tutorial, like I said before. Um, but for now, I'm just going to import my original helmet. Um, I'm going to make sure I import everything animation-wise. It, it's not necessary in this case, um, but we definitely want the, the skeleton. And we are going to import everything except for, on the, on the geometry, everything should be checked except for well vertices. Um, and in miscellaneous, we will, honestly, everything can be checked. It's not going to make a difference. Um, we're going to rename this to helmet original. So you can see the model's a little different. I'm actually going to assign a different texture so that we can verify it's a new model in game. Uh, and one thing I've noticed in all of the threads where people have been trying to figure out, like troubleshoot their, their models and why they aren't showing up in game, um, one major problem people are having is verts blowing up all over the place. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to skip past the actual proper skin weighting. I'm going to show you a trick uh, that I guess isn't really super super fancy, but it's it's helpful for those of you that aren't really familiar with skinning. Um, it will work better, obviously, for simpler models. In this case, we have one bone we're going to use, which will be the head. Um, but we're going to use what's called the skin wrap modifier, and what that that does is basically copy skin data from one mesh, which will be the original, this guy with the texture on it, right onto our our old model, and that'll have skin data for us to work with from the start. Um, I'm going to delete out the eye cover covers, the shades. They're unnecessary right now. So the first thing we'll do is we'll select our new model, the one that's gray right now. I don't have a texture on it. I'm going to go into my modifiers and grab skin wrap. This is a really, really simple, a simple plugin to work with. Uh, you shouldn't have to tweak it a whole lot and it'll get pretty good results. So what we want to do is basically we have, we've got it on there and now we want to add a deformer. And so we're going to add our original mesh to get the skin weights from it. So we add the, we add the modifier. Then in the, de the deformation engine, we can actually set this to face. Um, you can switch between the two. You'll see the differences pretty quickly. I'm not going to describe them in depth. I'm going to use face in this case because most of this model is the same. Um, I'm going to tell it add and then click the original model and you'll see now I see helmet original in there that's what I named my model and the last thing I want to do before I just say this is good enough is say weight all points that's very important in this case where um, the horn here is very different from the horn the original horn so I'll miss these verts sometimes it just won't even weight them so in this case we want to say hey you better weight them all I want it, so make sure it happens. Um, and then from there, you'll see that we have 
uh, the option right below weight all points to convert to skin. And so what this does is basically just copies skin data from your original mesh onto this new one. So I hit that button, you'll see it'll turn off skin wrap as active and add a skin modifier. Um, now we should be perfect, but first we'll delete the skin wrap, right click, delete. And now if you look, just double check to make sure when you go into envelope, in the case of a helmet, everything should be weighted to the head for the most part. Occasionally things like flaps, like leather flap that maybe come down over the over the neck might be slightly weighted to the, the, the clavicle or the, the, the spine, depending on how long it is. Um, in this case, it should all be weighted. You'll see it's bright red. We're great, that's perfect. And our last maneuver is to add the BS dismemberment skin modifier. This is how the game decides where your geometry goes when something dis is dismembered. Um, what we're gonna do real quickly is actually just go into, um, open it up, select faces, or polygons, sorry, and just select everything. Um, and now, as long as there's something selected, when we go out of here, you'll see you can, you can go up to your, your object mode, and when we go back to torso, you'll see it selects everything. If you deselect things, you're messing it up. Just select everything and then deactivate that modifier. And it's all good. Your model is ready to be exported. So we'll delete out our original. So this purple guy here, delete him. So now we've got our, our uh, model ready to go into Skyrim. Don't select anything. Just go File, Export. We'll select NetMers Gamebryo, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to export him into Meshes Armor Iron, and I'm gonna put it in the mail folder. And I've just got a random save file called Helmet 22, it's totally irrelevant, that's just my temp file for now. Um, important things, we wanna make sure we export the skin modifier. Uh, we do not want to have uh, partition strips that will actually screw up our model and it will crash the game. Um, remove extra bones is great because it simplifies our NIF. And uh, do not check vertex colors. When you export with vertex colors from here, the, the current exporter doesn't deal with them very well. You'll get random, completely random values. It'll be green and purple and all over the place. So don't export vertex colors. Um, and that should be if you look at this, this, this should be a pretty simple copy paste. You can pause it and take a look, hit export. And now I've got a new NIF to open up. So I will say, right now you see I have the, uh, the original helmet. I've loaded my iron helmet first, just the regular helmet. Um, this is gonna be the basis I'm gonna steal a couple things from, just the texture basically, texture set. Uh, I've actually done a slightly different colored model just to see, make sure, so you know that it's different. Um, but I'm gonna actually go File, New Window, just like every other time. We're gonna do some copy paste magic again. File, Load, I'm going to find uh, Data, Meshes, Armor, Iron. We're gonna load our Mail. Helmet 22. So now you'll see my crazy big horn nonsense in here. Should be just one tri shape. Um, it'll have a dismemberment inst a skin instance in there. And actually, we're going to delete the material property first. Block, remove branch. At this point, if you guys have been following the rest of the tutorials, these are pretty standard things. I'm going to copy my shader from the original helmet. So copy branch on the BS lighting shader property. Go in here, paste it in, block, paste branch. And under the tri shape, I'm gonna scroll to the bottom. If I can get to the bottom, I can't. Oh, recording live. Scroll to the bottom, you see properties, open that up. And you'll see the seven next to BS lighting shader property. That is the node number. So we'll type seven into the first property. And you'll see now I'll have all the textures hooked up that were on this guy. Um, before I go any further, I'm gonna quick re-hook my textures. I did make new ones for this. 
Um, I'm gonna open this up and I've made a helmet dark plate. There's the DDS, so you see the metal got a little darker. And I actually made the specularity a little bit shinier just for for bling, bling capacity at its maximum. So my shader's all set up right. That's great. Um, my next step, am I recording? Yes. Great. Once again, recording live. Feeling like a fool. Um, the next thing we're going to do is open up we're going to open up the tri shape and scroll down to the point where you see uh ooh, oh sorry tri shape data just here um scroll down to the point where you see um vertex color has vertex color it says no we told us to not export them but what will happen is it will actually show up as black in game if we don't say yeah we have vertex color so just double click that say yes and that sorts that problem out which will be definitely if your your model shows up black you miss that um, and our final final adjustment is to go into the dismemberment skin instance and we find in this case I'm going from this helmet so we're gonna go and look at the same one um, down here you'll see partitions body part list and we open that up you'll see BS dismemberment body type or body part type and it says 131 if we look at ours Right now, it's going to say whatever our BS that 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 modifier said. So in this case, BP torso. We're going to just double click there, delete all that, and give it the same number, 131. Great, awesome. Now, for all intents and purposes, this should be all you need to set in order to get this to pop up in game, as long as this is on the correct model. So if you have done an Argonian or uh, Kajit, Kajit, whatever nonsense name that is who gives k's and h's together come on people um if as long as as long as it's correctly assigned in this case um a human head when you place this when you wear this armor you should see this in game after you've saved it um so what's up cooking show let's open up skyrim and just take a peek see what we got i would love to go back to my save game where the cow has been removed because I messed up the model. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? That's my man right there. Hold on a minute. So there you go. Oh. You'll see everybody but the Argonians are going to be all right. Argonians and Kajus. He's still cute though, right? Look at him. That's a cute guy. Anyway, thanks a lot. It's uh, it's great to have you guys watching. Um, this is Joe Pickup from SoMuchMonsters.com.